welcome back to another podcast. We don't miss two fucking weeks because of one person. Three. Three weeks? Was it three? No, it wasn't no three. It was two. You always try to make shit worse than it is, yeah? You know? No. Because we didn't pot the week we left for your wedding. I got too much packing to do. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> have it for the following week because of your wedding. And then when you came back, I got to pick a baby girl. I was gone. <laughs> That's three weeks, nigga. I, I had good excuses, though, yeah? <laughs> two, 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 two. two I right, give you two. I right, thank you, thank you. You even I, had to try to have a stand. Did I? Yeah, that, that, that nigga. It, 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 your family ain't shit. What happened? Did you call? Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't make it. Uh, <laughs> they can talk nigga, all that shit that down shit. there. Now you're paying. <laughs> no, he not. Now you're the bad nigga. He ain't never been before. Shit. Welcome to another uh, episode of Shot Clock. Are we recording? We've been recording. Uh. That nigga ain't even got his record face on. What you mean? Look at him. You know he got all the behind the scenes, so he got that ammunition on us, right? All right, kick it in then. Anybody that want to pay him to get all that back shit, he going to sell it. Damn. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. I'm going to say all the shit. All the back shit. All the back shit. He going to sell it. There ain't no fucking Diddy ain't in here. Meat Mills ain't in here. Well, you kind of look like meat, so I don't know. Hold on, wait a minute. Welcome to another episode of Shot O'Clock. Uh, it's hot as shit in here, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, KM. All right, come on, we're going to be serious. <sighs> I missed this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, yo. Go ahead, kick it off. He's going to be fine once his food comes. <laughs> oh, shit. You go to... Yeah. Oh, we can get some of these after. No, no I, you always I, do I didn't that want shit, what they want. No, no, you out. always do that I shit. I had carry out. Don't they always do that shit? I had carry out. No, see how I pull. Yeah, for them. Yeah. That's just like, no, we can just, order that's the second what time I said, we did I said, it. I'm gonna order my like the last time, we brothers. We ain't brothers. Mm-hmm. You always do that shit though, yeah? What'd you say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Shot O'Clock. My name is Ida, sexual chocolate. To the left of me, we got J3, JC's in the building. What up, what up? And then we, <laughs> we got our nigga Bobby Brown. What up? BB. BB. Bad guy in the building. Go ahead and show it. I know you want to show it. Go ahead and show it. Go ahead. Ah, Go ahead and show it. Ah, <laughs> did, did a little something. Did a little something last week. You know what I'm saying? This is the last week or like two weeks, three weeks? Oh, I'm two weeks. I'm two weeks married. Yeah. Oh, I still take fan mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> we not gonna start this shit early. Good. All right, all right, good. All right, he can good. get the fan mail. I can get the same. Baby, sir, I can get fan mail. I get all the pictures, though. Dang, all right, that's cool. I take the pictures. I look at them, pass them to you. The wedding was beautiful, I have to say, and I can't even be mad. I had to apologize to my to my wife. Sounds weird saying that. Because but, um, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Man, once. you know we hard headed. I know. Once she got her shit off, she was fine. She ain't gonna give a fuck what kind of had on. Like. <laughs> Hey, what I want so to say? Explain. Hey, look, I can't, it, 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 you can't say it ain't funny though. Right? Hey, let me explain to y'all out there. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> the colors for the motherfucking meet and greet reception. What was it? Yeah, blue. 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 You gotta wear blue. Some These type of blue. niggas found the brightest, <laughs> office colors. She got on hot motherfucking pink with the hot pink shoes. She was looking My fly. My is cute. <laughs> looking fly. My man got on the Easter pink. The shoes looking fly. Pink shoes. My yeah. man Rico, he got on the orange motherfucking polo. All these niggas walk in together like a group. <laughs> Her ass zeroed in. It gotta be your motherfucking friends. Oh, it's ruined. Ah! I said, hey, yo, cool out, dog. <laughs> you know my friend. Yeah, like, it ain't that bad. Ah! Everybody. Then before you know it, everybody else come downstairs in their pajamas. <laughs> like, <laughs> like shit is in the middle of the hotel. Yeah, like, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? But nah, I did yeah, everybody had fun at the meet and greet. We had a ball though. When you I know? must say, when I must say, what? I walked in there and I seen that everybody had a blue. <laughs> That's because you came early, early a little bit. I looked at BB and was like, <laughs> I was laughing. Yeah, BB was like, fuck it. No, <laughs> BB <laughs> was like, fuck it. <laughs> Again. I don't, I don't know if wife will remember or not because you know me. I'm, I, I told her I was not wearing blue. I'll make it clear. I told her 
I'm listen because I was gonna wear blue for the wedding, but then I was told I can't wear blue for the wedding. Yeah, right. that's why it was confusing for right. me too. So I already didn't had know which my one I had my Friday outfit because we hanging out afterwards. <laughs> yeah. I'm not about to change my whole outfit and because we going out after that. Fuck that! I was hot in my pants. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm dressing up like yeah. I know your feelings was hurt. Yeah, you was hurt. I'm you was so like sorry. You was like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, yo, it's not that big a deal. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you let one person read the invitation and you don't take the time to read it yourself. I read the motherfucker. I did. I said, I ain't going to do it, baby. And but I heard funny, you tell her no. Yeah. So. And the funny thing, she gave you a pass. Like, cool. But you forgot. But ain't I nobody know they was... We're, we talk about two different days, though. <laughs> that's when they was probably. Day. That's when, yeah, it was two different days. It was but two different I days. I didn't tell I was going to tie something blue to my arm. Um, yeah, I, I didn't. Say I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I'll take that one. But yeah, I was looking hot in my pink, dog. But nah, we had. So that, my manager had on blue jeans. So let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. He made it known. Hey, blue jeans, but an orange shirt. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think he would have won if he would have had it reversed. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Y'all okay, came with that joint like, fuck it. Nah, they, they say we look like a box of crayons in that joint. <laughs> but the 64 end, pack. At the end, though, everybody, man, we had fun that, fr- that Friday night. We had fun. We party yeah. like a motherfucker. We did. <laughs> we went out. Everybody loaded up. Let's go. Niggas was out. They called the sheriff on us that night at the hotel. Yeah, we ain't, ain't get into it. Like, me and Rico ain't get into like three, four. <laughs> it was an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so we had fun. We had fun at that. That's a beautiful too. I will say yeah, that. Yeah. Well, Don't go down there and expect the party party at all. You are gonna get the police call yeah. on you. They they're not used to us down there after ten o'clock <laughs> at all. With the beaches, so, really and we'll tell you shh at the bar, nigga. Shh. <laughs> like <laughs> nah, nigga, they hit shh. Y'all too loud. But it is a beautiful <laughs> place to be at. Yeah. Nah, it's beautiful. White sand, blue blue water. That shit was wonderful. The wedding was the wedding was a we, we had a good the wedding was fun. Mm-hmm. You know, every everybody I mean it was like a party all the way through. I, I it sure know. enough was. <laughs> it was a party from the time I walked through the down the aisle, everybody. Ah! Up. Yeah. Up, <laughs> it's like this ain't your typical wedding. Man. This is yeah. <laughs> You still Every, got time. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, you still got time. Still got time and I forgot mom. what song I was walking down the aisle to. All I hear is Lamont and, yeah, nigga, no more playing house now, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I do got to ask you something about the reception. Uh-huh. Did you hear what they played? First song at the reception, guess who came on? Who? Wale. <laughs> you know, no shit, bro. bro yeah. I was like, "Where Jay at?" <laughs> everybody was like, and then Lamar, everybody's like, "Oh shit, who played this? Somebody must be playing game, bro. You ain't here for real." No, I didn't. Nah, hey, we got it too. I was, look, we got it. I was outside trying to calm Pam down because she was ready to go in there and fight somebody no, no. because they wouldn't get up for somebody. Oh yeah, and she came yeah. in hot too. Yeah, she so I in. had to calm her down. Like Slim, you in the wedding dress? It's your wedding day. Leave. Nah, this is my motherfucking day. It's gonna go the way I want it, motherfucking go. Da, 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 Hey yo, calm your little ass down. But did you see when she came in? Uh uh-uh. uh. Your motherfucking table's over there. You need y'all need to get up and go over there. Hey yo, you lying? Yo. Nah, bro, she came in there hot. <laughs> <All right. laughs> came right hey. down our table. <laughs> And that girl got right up from right yep. beside me. I'm just looking like I can't get in no more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get in no more trouble. You know, Lamont was at the wrong table. He was supposed to be at table four. He was oh, niggas, us. niggas was just choosing Lamont their own seat. Yeah. No, because he was like, I don't, I don't know where I'm supposed to sit at now. Oh. He got a whole ticket to tell you, but. <laughs> just fucking yeah, on over there. He wanted to sit with the, the, the lit team. <laughs> that was lit. lit. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, did, a, did a dance with my mother. Got to party with her. That was one of her favorite songs. Mm-hmm. Um, Pam got to dance with her mom. Turn up. Mommy uh, lit. <laughs> yeah, mom, mommy yeah lit. you see she had to switch the song. Act bad. Act bad. <laughs> act. Mom was like, ah! <laughs> got to party with my boo-boo, Nicole. She didn't know I was going to pick the song that she liked because she think I hate that song. So when it came on, I thought she was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I got mm-hmm. you. <laughs> I know you like that song, but... Uh, Overall, the the whole thing was it was it was beautiful. You I know what I'm saying? So yeah, I had a good time down there, bro. Hey, and I appreciate y'all coming. That meant a lot, yo. Yeah. You know, see y'all really love me. You know, no matter how much you say you ain't my brother. I ain't never said that. <laughs> <laughs> all I just said was that was my brother. That's all I said. I never said he wasn't. I just said. <laughs> Fifteen hour drive. Yeah. Fifteen hour drive, dog. Bro, yeah, I I, hey, I appreciate y'all because when we got back from the honeymoon. 
we had to go to Pam Mom's house to pick the dog up. That was like 11 hours from Alabama to Maryland. Wow. Oh, my you, God. I seen you in New York. A <laughs> couple hours later, I, I see you in Flint Burning. I'm on the world like, tour, nigga. Like five hours later, Tennessee. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? He flying back out somewhere again? I was on the world tour. So what happened yeah. was, so our flight, for some reason, everybody that came from Grenada had to go to JFK. Okay, I can see to go that. back yeah. to Georgia. So you International flew, Airport. Yeah, so you flew over the JFK, but the JFK, we missed our flight because we thought they was just going to fly me in because, you know, I got the boot. So we like, yeah, shit, we good. We're going to fly all the way through because that's how I was getting in when I was, you know, coming to Grenada. <laughs> JFK is the worst motherfucking airport in the world. Not that they understaffed. They overstaffed. But don't nobody know, know shit. Know what they doing. No. Everybody. Hey, do you? Uh, 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 get in the chat. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, ask somebody else. Hey, do we post with uh, 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 uh. I'm like, man, what the fuck? So, look. So, we get off the plane. So, it's like seven rolls of wheelchairs. So, I'm like, bet. We about to hop in. We about to roll to the motherfucking gate. So, they get put on. you on a handicap flight? Yeah. Not the hand, shut your ass up. Not a handicap flight, but when you got a boot, get, use my credits next time you go on the airplane. Trust me. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna, they gonna be lying. Yeah, you, the the you and your party. Yeah. You and your party to the front. So that's what they supposed to do at JFK. I get off, so it's seven, it's like seven wheelchairs. So you know, I'm you hop from my crutch, getting the first one, just sitting there. So, but it's only one dude to take Taking seven everybody. wheelchairs. So I'm like, what the fuck? So Slim rolled me, he rolled me first. Leave me. And like, I'll be right back. Got me sitting there like I'm a motherfucking dummy. And so I'm just sitting there with the wood like this. All right. <laughs> like, he finally come back. So then he rolled me. Rolled me to the, uh, 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 what's the joint? He rolled you? <laughs> he pushed, oh, okay. pushed me in the wheelchair. Oh. I, I don't sound too good either. Well, he grabbed the wheelchair. <laughs> and, all right, fuck it. <laughs> so he got me to the front. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know uh, what's the choice you go through with the passport when you coming through? Customs, yeah. customs, customs. All right, yeah. customs. All right, customs. So I'm sitting there waiting for the motherfucker, waiting for the motherfucker, waiting for the motherfucker. He goes all the way back to the joint to get the rest of the people. So I'm sitting there. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I just get on my crutches and just crutch through the goddamn thing until I find is is a little young dude. He's like, man, you gonna supposed to be, you know, with the crutches. Like, hey, motherfucker back there taking too long. So I'm going to just go ahead and walk through the joint. Little young dude, man, he was A1. He rolled me through, you know, was talking to me. Like, look, man, the reason we don't do it at JFK is because people be lying about it. Mm -hmm. So da 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 But, I mean, other than little, little dude with the dreads, I don't know his name, but we made sure Shout we out. tipped him and everything. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? He was about his business. Everybody else, doing was some dumb motherfuckers in that joint. <laughs> I, I never go back that one person that enjoy their job and like man what they doing to yeah, you yeah I'll never go back through JFK so I mean it was a hell of a trip the honeymoon was everything BB said it was gonna be you know what I'm saying so <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was uh, all that shit you see on the movies is some bullshit <laughs> you get all in a room with courier across the motherfucking joint and y'all just animals in that joint <laughs> Nigga, animal was winning to sleep. That's what it was. <laughs> Niggas was knocked the fuck out. <laughs> toast up to our toasties. Toast up to our toasties. Yeah. Congratulations again, thank sir. You, thank you, thank you. Uh, what about sports, y'all? Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson, I, I really thought he was going to go to the Skins or somewhere. What? So why, why wouldn't he, though? Sierra don't want to come out here. What the I'm fuck is the difference with Pittsburgh? Know. Besides being cold out there. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, imagine Sierra had the go go. <laughs> <laughs> and you know she would have tried. Oh, yeah, she would have been at one of them grown and sexy all she black bodies. She would have tried to motherfucking make yeah. her own go go song. Hey, somewhere with D, with Vibe or something. I see her with Sirius and K. Michelle up that joint with Michelle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, there's a lot of football moves today. That one, uh, Talk I, about I think I think she he went to over the right coach. Oh, you Tomlin. Tom, Tom, yeah, got Tomlin you. gonna do him right. Okay. Unless he just yeah. fuck him over. Who? Tomlin? Wilson. Oh, you mean his oh, place? Think, that, it's just him playing. You think he just on money grabs right now? You I think mean, he still he got a million that, dollars? You think he still got that fire though? No. I think I think he lost it ever since the earth. She put that thing on him, Joe. I mean, they got a little team already together. They got a team. He got a receiver. He got a uh he got a running back. Right. I don't know how they D looking this last year. So, but Pause. I think they. Oh, nigga, please. 
Go ahead, though. <laughs> um, so I, I don't really know. I think I think he'll be all right. I think they could probably nah, – no, they're not going to win the division because they still got to deal with Let me ask you this, though. You think his relationship's fucking up his game? No, I think Russell's fucking up his game. I feel it. Because if you listen to the interview Marshawn Lynch said, like, Russell Russell puts himself up here on his pedestal. I got you. I got you. Where he separates himself from the team. Okay. So he's above the team in his eyes. If I'm your fucking teammate, why do I got to call your rep and and have him call? You call me with a block number. Fuck out of here. (laughs) <laughs> that ain't no fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, I ain't doing that. yeah, and and I'm the one protecting your ass every day. Yeah, nah, but, I'm good. But one of the biggest football moves uh, is Saquon going to Philly. Yeah, mm. leaving the- so leaving New York. Yeah, nothing running behind that Philly line yeah. too. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. What you think Aaron Rodgers going to really do? Yeah. Aaron Rodgers gonna do Aaron Rodgers. He's gonna get him to the playoffs. I think so the, say he coming back. I think the I think the age of them old quarterbacks is done. No, nah, he trying to adjust, too. but I think it's done. Who they got yeah. left? It's really just Aaron Rodgers left. You got Tom Brady posting himself with his shirt off, talking about I got a pool party coming, that pool coming. That nigga <laughs> is bored. He's bored. Hey. Y'all old niggas be bored. <laughs> 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 Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> gotta like, stay young, baby. Yeah, yeah you gotta yeah, stay age. You know? That's why Aaron Rodgers like, nope, I ain't about to give it up yet. <laughs> nah, he still got he still got a couple more years. He get hurt one more time. He just need. How old so is Aaron think, Rodgers? So you think um, somewhere in thirty, some 35 probably. I don't For know, real? Swap, yeah, around there. Gotta be up, bro. Nah, he not he can't be close older than that. Only time. You think so? Uh uh-uh. uh. All right, go ahead, go ahead, keep talking. I say thirty five. 34-35. So, Barkley right. going to the Eagles, you think Kelsey going to say fuck the retirement? He might come back out. I don't out. think. I watched Kelsey. He just cried That's so hard. That's a whole hard. different he running back. He just cried back. so hard. But I watched. I watch he 44. 44. Who? Uh, just 40. 40. Who, Aaron? Aaron. Oh, yeah. It's time to pack it up, dog. You are not <laughs> fucking Tom Brady. Uh-uh. Pack it up. Yeah, you hurt your shit, and just let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. I watch um with that. What you saying that about Kelsey? I watched his movie, uh, you know, his little documentary on uh on Hulu, and just just seeing how much he sh- not struggled, but struggled with the idea of retirement last time and coming back. Mm-hmm. And I mean, of course, we all know football players got yeah. millions of injuries. I don't know if he gonna do it. I don't. I don't think he would. If he do, I don't think he's gonna play like he played before. I Meaning, I don't think he's gonna get that many reps in. Why did he have a lot of injuries? Oh man, all that shit they was explaining mm-hmm. on that documentary, bro. It was, it, it was bad. I don't know. Man. Saquon might be enough to coax him back out. You think so? Yeah, one more time, get that ring. One more that's time. That's a whole different running back. I got you. I got I'd you. love for the boys that had tried to get him. Yeah. Shit. I'm surprised they ain't picked nobody up with all this trading this going on. Cowboys and this Jerry Jones monkey ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try not to bring that up. I have that motherfucker does not make any choices that make any sense. Any sense? I got you. I got yeah. you. Mm. Oh. What else we got? Yeah, like on? they put Michael Gallup up. They say, "Oh, go go search for a new team." Yeah, just re-sign him and got rid of Amari Cooper. What type of yeah, yeah, sense does that make? Yeah. And then a couple years later, you're going, "Oh, go ahead. We don't need you. <laughs> Fuck out of here." Yeah, he do a lot of shit that don't make sense. Congratulations to Billy Eilish, the singer. What happened Why, what to the fuck she do? She won two. She's the youngest, like, to win two Oscars at the age of twenty-two. You want me to be honest with you? Oh my god! Sound like some bullshit. What she do to win an Oscar? And then um, the dude from Omaha, 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 no, Omaha. Omaheimer, the one Oppenheimer, like, the movie yeah, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, <laughs> Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. Like, yeah. uh, the one about the new movie. Yeah, yeah. What about what about? Did we watch it? But uh, no, I I, that shit was boring. <laughs> <laughs> I like the movie. We fell asleep right on. I really, you know, you you're know, married now. You're boring. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck you. <laughs> boring, my nigga. You know what surprised me about the movie though? I thought Albert Einstein like was a nigga from 1800s though. No, I ain't know that nigga was from like 1956. Yeah, I was like, bro. this nigga just died. He was <laughs> just like yeah. barely. I thought because all the pictures you see him is like he was. Black and white. Yeah, 18. It's black and white then. There yeah. ain't no color back then. It's 30, <laughs> bro. We could have created a Polaroid first. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. But go ahead. <laughs> Billy Eilish. Polaroid was in black and white. Billy Eilish. Stylish. Right, he won a lot of Oscars as well. 
He was the basic winner of the night. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they killed it with that movie. Them, them type of movies always win Oscars. Yeah, because not with us, though. My bad. Yeah, my yeah. Bad. My bad. I pulled everybody. Nah, you good. Too. You good. But, yeah, them movies always. Um, You see uh, Slim from the Spider-Man universe. He felt they should have won. Uh, the dude, the black dude? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. He felt they should have won. He was kind of upset that they didn't win. Um, that tells you why you didn't win. Yeah, you... You're not a white Spider-Man. You already know. So it's like, I I don't... You know what ki- yeah, no, kills me about, about that? It's true, though. Like, we we uh, we uh we get upset about it, get upset about these things every year. And every year we show up for the so, same so, so goddamn so show. <laughs> just to be mad again. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to just feel. Just take the Drake pose. Just give me my money, like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm not I, showing up. Yeah, I ain't showing up. Just give me my bread, yeah. yo. So they get money for money? Uh, nah, but oh. your stock go up. Oh yeah, of your course. stock go up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and more. What? What are we gonna keep it? Divine, keep it on sports. Can't uh, leave out Divine. Divine Joy Rudolph. It's plain. She's a black actress, supporting actress in a comedy. And what, what comedy, comedy was that? Congratulations. Oh, yeah, I don't watch TV. What is TV? Congratulations, show? Divine that, Joy Robinson. Is that that little school TV show? She, it's nah, not, Abbott. It's, no, it's not, it's not Abbott. Abbott. Nah, uh-uh. Oh, not Abbott. Yeah. She look alright though. Yeah. She look alright though. Yeah. She, yeah. she look alright. Um, what else happened? What else happened this? Not this week, but period. Ryan Gosling sang his Barbie song. What? Oh yeah, I did watch the Barbie movie. Hold the fuck up. He sung a Barbie song? And yeah, he he's in the Barbie good. movie. Don't give a fuck. He's Next. Ken. Next. <laughs> Next. He was singing. Well, Diddy, Diddy's back in the news since we on the Oscars. He's been you know, in the news. You know, Man, he turned. He cut my little ride. He, <laughs> he did good. <laughs> and John Cena came on stage naked. Butt naked. I saw that. All right, so they got your man in the dress. Now they got your man butt naked on stage. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Now, I'm with Could you. a nigga have gotten away with that? Fuck no. We would have roasted he his just ass. album. No, what I'm saying is, would, <laughs> would, would white America would have been okay? He just would have, black, no, oh, hell no. Listen to what I'm saying. Would a white America been okay with a nigga coming on stage doing that? Nah. Oh, I'm appalled. Nah. The Michael fuck? B. Jordan. They don't give a oh, fuck who he we is. would have been on stage. Y'all shit would have been all like this. The girls would have been loving But us. they think it's funny because you got a white gorilla coming on stage. You know what I mean? So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's comical when they do it. You know? But I mean, it's disrespectful when we do yeah, it. I mean, you know what I mean? Because probably the cardboard. Do y'all believe in a, that that type of Hollywood ritual shit? Yeah. Y'all believe in that? Y'all uh, yeah. y'all don't think they putting what's the name through one of them? Who? John Cena. Yeah to, yeah, to be in Hollywood, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like he can't never. He been in a million movies, but he can't break that rock barrier. You know how rock. Now, nah, like and you know what's stuff. crazy? They always showing them in his draws. Bingo. So. <laughs> Now you see the new movie he about to do. Now I mean, he got he no got, draws on. He got the build like. Don't I mean, give a Jack, fuck about Jack that. Don't care Black. About my build. Don't give a fuck Jack about Black. that. Jack Black did it, but it was just like comedy. That's supposed to be like. The man was just in a full dress with pigtails. Who uh, <laughs> Johnson Cena on a new movie cover? No, some new movie I he supposed to do. It's good thing I ain't see it. <laughs> now he ass naked on stage, so it's like ah. Uh, nah. I mean, nah. I kind of go with the Ryan Garcia shit we was talking about. What with the, with the uh with the um you know the the rituals in Hollywood where he said uh he was on that um they was talking and he was talking about the uh he was in a Hollywood ritual he's saying this happened to him when he was a kid they took him in the woods or something uh and strapped him down and made him watch other kids get raped or something like that Bohemian Grove Bohemian, Bohemian Grove thank you producer Oh, the, the, the thing that he was on? My yeah. Uh, the, uh, That's the not your manager. He was that, on? that wasn't your manager. Mm. Yeah. The pla- um, Bo- no, Bohemian Grove is the place they say where all these rituals are done in Hollywood. Okay. Um, so, of course, you know, you go on YouTube, you start going down a rabbit hole. So, I started looking at that, and then it took me to another interview with um, Joe Rogan and Kid Rock, where Kid Rock was explaining the same thing. He was like, oh, yeah, when I first started, it was weird. So we all remember because he was um, singing rap back in the day. Yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. before he, he switched over to country yeah. and all that shit. So he said it was weird. So it was like the uh, remember the movie with Tom Cruise with Vanilla Sky. Yeah, yeah. where they had the face and all that shit. So yeah, he yeah. said he was invited to a party and it was like that. And he said it was real strange. He said um, it was a lot of people there. He was there newscasters there, um, of course famous people. He he named everybody. 
Um, he said, but then they took us like to a wooded area or some shit. It was like it was fire burning and da da da. He said, and they suggested that I played the guitar, but it wasn't a suggestion. It was like they was telling you, like, yeah, I think it's time for you to play the guitar. And so what the fuck that mean? Play the guitar? Or so he was like, he was sitting there playing while like people was like dancing around and the fire and shit. Like he said, it was some strange shit. Like he ain't go deep, deep, deep into it. Not he like said, they did it yeah, right. like like Ryan right. Garcia did. But he was just saying like it was just some real weird ritual Hollywood shit because he was like it was only the top elites there. He was like you you had to be somebody to be there. He was like and he would say it was just a lot of freaky shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So I, I believe it. Yeah, I mean I think it's I think at some point you know we gotta stop calling shit like. Conspiracy and all that shit, like you know, man, like conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. Nah, cause I think for real, they only let certain people in it. That's it. Everybody will be in. So what are you doing? But I think, do you not think they try to have everybody in there? And then... nah, cause they gotta trust you. They gotta do something to yeah. you to make you trust you. You gotta fiend for that lifestyle. That's why people run from it. I mean, look, it's, it's a lot of people that was dead. That ran from that lifestyle, like I can't take that shit. Y'all can have it. So, do you believe the the uh, interview that Spanky gave when Who he was talking? Spanky, talk, Spanky a comedian. Mm, I ain't hear that. One. He was talking about he went out on a road for um. He he ain't say the name of the movie until the end. Like he threw the shot at the very end. Okay. Because he was like, I don't want to name the person, but he was like, it came down to him and the lead and the other in the movie, and he pretty much said, yeah. Um, what do you say? You got to eat my ass or. Let me play with your ass or some shit. I believe it. And he was like, he laughed at the niggas. The nigga was serious. Yeah, but they were serious. And the other dude was like, <laughs> okay. That's it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But you know who he said it was? He who? didn't say who it was. He named the movie. What's the movie? Baby Boy. Tyrese. Tyrese. That makes sense. And he was dead serious. That makes sense. He was dead fucking serious. Because you got to look at the, the shit they get offered. Like, why you got offered that? You see what I'm saying? Like, it do make you think that shit, I mean, yo. and now that he's in what? A billion dollar <laughs> franchise man. movie? My man got a whole Benny Hunt in the backyard, yo. So let's say, let's say if, uh, <laughs> what do you think about Ludacris? Was he that good I that mean, he could be in the billion dollar franchise? Once I seen, once I seen him holding hands with Quincy Jones, I no, said, yeah, he got got. Quincy Jones told you he was fucking people. Did he? Two, man, what? Oh, that's Quincy. You got to watch that, that his last documentary, he did, he's still alive. But, you know, you get old, you just get the da 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 That nigga was telling me. Oh, he was like, oh, man, we was fucking everybody back then. Like, I'm watching stuff. He was like, what? He was like, men fucking men, girls. Da -da 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 -da. Remember Tupac did the interview when he, told, when he said Quincy Jones asked could he fuck him? What Pac said? Pac just almost whooped his ass. <laughs> but, you know, he ended up dating Quincy Jones' daughter. Boy. And he came back and apologized. But he ain't never say that shit was false. Right. Look at Tevin Campbell. Who was Tevin Campbell around? Mm -hmm. Quincy Jones. And he out there picking up uh, nah, he was transgenders, yeah. I guess, if you want to call them them now. Yeah, so I mean, anybody that was around this fuck. man, I mean, look at in the early stages of uh, Will Smith's career. People forget who found Will Smith. Who? They get him come do the show. Quincy Jones. Oh. So MC Shan did an interview where he was saying, MC Shan was hotter than Will Smith back then. So they wanted MC Shan to be the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But the producer of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, he's gay. So MC Shan basically said he got offered up some shit. And he like, a Brooklyn nigga. He was like, man, get the fuck out of my face, Slim. I don't need that. Da -da -da. Right. He said that not too long after, who did they get? They got Will Smith. Which after that, Will Smith did what? Six Degrees of Separation where he was playing gay. I still never seen that. Don't see it. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Don't see it, bro. Don't. Now I gotta see it. Yeah, that's a problem. I said the same thing and I saw it. Don't see it. It's just gonna fuck your whole mindset. It up. ain't, yeah. it ain't gonna. Fuck I mean, he ain't bad. going graphic, but I mean, you seeing Will Smith bent just over, embracing a nigga, holding a nigga, and just all this other shit. Yeah, just, it's not. That it's not graphic, but not, not like nowadays. Yeah, but it's graphic. It ain't no but it's enough shit. that you know. It's enough That's that you know. Happening. Yeah, this is what's about to yeah. happen. They right. about. To In other words, you ain't gonna be my man, and they said cut, and I just watched you French kissing the nigga. Right. Oh, he <laughs> was kissing the nigga too. Man, what? what? It, it wasn't no hitch type shit. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. Right. I'm and you just looking like, bruh, you cut or not, you just kissed the nigga. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So nah. Um, in other news. They want to pass uh, the Kentucky Senate, pass the bill, 
uh, saying that you can start paying child support while the baby is in the stomach. Want to go around the table? So I think I think, <laughs> I think Kentucky tired. I want to go around. For, want to go around the table. They tired of paying for wick. They tired of paying for all that. But what happened when that bill keeps rolling? Your bill won't keep rolling. So let's make sense of this, the, right? It ain't gonna be the taxpayers. Let's make sense of this, right? Okay. And I'm just doing Kentucky by itself. That's what I'm doing. Just Kentucky by itself. It ain't got nothing to do out there. It ain't real life a whole lot of us out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So let's just make it make sense. You want me to pay child support, and I don't know if that child is mine. Facts. So do I get my money back if the test come back? That I'm not the father. Now the question: We know how hard it is for for a man to get off child support. Yep, because <laughs> you know you some know. states have it. Well, you've been in the baby life for this long. Well, you're gonna have to continue paying it because it is just is what it is. How fucked up is that? Super fucked up. Such is life. Special. Say what? That is true, but such is life. Uh, I, I ain't got no kids. I get it. I get it. But uh, yeah, but all right. Let, let's say this, right? Uh huh. Help me. I understand why they give the kid to the mother, right? I understand that too. I understand why. Cause y'all hit us with the such is life. No, I no, no, in no. Her. They, what they, they no. Let's be when honest. I say it. They, they give the, they give the mother the, the, the child because that's nurse. the person. Nope. That's going to be able to spend the most time with the child. Why we can't spend time with the child? We gotta go to fuck the world. Say it again. We gotta go. So to why don't you give it to the one that makes the money? The one that can make the money and actually have someone there to take care of the baby. No, that's make- actually true though. Yeah. No, it's not. But I you mean? Go to work too when you ask no, man. Yeah, but y'all no, most, man. but most women. I majority. Gotta, I got a try to depend on the government because you asked and left me, and while you working, you not. But paying. guess what? The but guess what? Scenario, got, though. But I'm not. You talking uh, worst case you know scenario? Know the, you know the I'm crazy thing. I'm talking about reality of black women in America. Oh okay. hell no! Nah, if we get it right, if we do percentage wise, right? And you do single fathers and single mothers. Listen to me. Right. If you do a percentage, I'm not because women are always going to be more. But if you do percentage wise of the men that are single fathers that are on, on um, child support. No, not on child support, but on public assistance. And the percentage of women that are on public assistance that have the child. That's like 5% to 100. Right? <laughs> because the men, the men are actually going to go them. out and do what they got to do. I never heard a man being on, on, on public assistance. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've never heard. I never met one dude that said he getting a welfare check. And I got the. And I'm a single father. And I'm a yeah. single father. I never. I never met one too. And we won. We won in the most fucked up. Uh, you well, it like in the DC area. You met a, a single father on yes. welfare. Yes. Yes. Getting food stamps and all that yes. shit. Yes. Eight eight dollar a month yeah. rent. No. Eight dollars. Yeah. 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 You meant like rent. section eight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm what it means. That, that's why you said eight dollars. Section eight, eight dollars. I'm not talking about you just scamming for for uh for the for the food stamps. I'm talking about the whole shebang. Yes, yeah, she's no, food stamps and shit is something stamps. different. It's that's it. all we looking for. It's yeah. cash yeah. assistance. Yeah. It's actually men like, ain't getting that though. We, what man, you know? Single fathers that. ain't getting that. People we gotta go to fucking work. Them niggas working at Royal Farm, Shoppers, motherfucking yep. Jan on Thursday. Got grandma, got <laughs> mama watching the baby. Yeah, we don't get that. Y'all so why, why does the woman? Uh, it's not a y'all. I don't have no kids. That's why y'all females. Why does females? females? You have a vagina, yeah. don't you? Y'all get all y'all. the motherfucking benefits. Y'all. They didn't push nothing out, did I? Right. <laughs> but you still y'all. But y'all get all y'all. the benefits. Y'all. I'm not, I'm not, y'all. And y'all, you know what y'all, else I hate? Y'all, I hate when y'all. they be debating that shit. Like, oh, men want to hit it raw, but don't want to accept the responsibility. We can't hit nothing raw that you don't let, let us. us. But I do understand if the like what not, the fuck if the dude is not taking care of the child. Yes, bust his head to the white man by all means. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in that. But yes, remember, you, you chose to let that nothing hit it raw though. But at the all same time, you chose to hit it raw. So don't be mad that she bust your head open. I agree. Or bust your windows. Or bust nah, your. Why you got to do? No, why you got to do that, Jasmine Solomon? Yeah, it's that deep. But you, but you ain't got no kids. You over here busting but it over the road, no meaning you probably get me infected and everything. You busting windows without kids. Now I got my motherfucking kid on the way. She busting windows without kids. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. I God, was busting God. it open on you, God. so God. guess what? Everything will get bust open now. God, your damn. doors, your windows. Damn, my doors too. Your See? doors too. <laughs> You're not sleeping. <laughs> not y'all hear, y'all hear firsthand, y'all. All that sexual <laughs> chocolate shit. You better think about it. <laughs> 
I bust, bust the windows kid. out your car. <laughs> I don't have any kids. This is what you're in store for. And uh-huh. I'm just saying, I don't do things like that. But I'm just saying, <laughs> since, since we're talking about all the y'all y'alls out here, yes, all on. the y'alls out y'all, here, let's go. that's what the y'alls are doing. That's what the the good women. The, I'm not saying those people aren't good women as well because I feel like people only do those things when they're getting played with. They're getting like, like. Literally played like a violin fiddle. So you hit a nigga pockets because you getting played with. No, emotions. I'm not just saying the pockets, but I'm just saying like niggas don't come. Well, guys, I'm not saying niggas. If you ain't taking no, care of your child, say, child, say, say men, hit. just like you say, say good women, say right. men. Yeah, men, men, men don't show up sometimes. No, so men, don't men always show up. up. Men always show yeah. up. So now we back to the niggas. Niggas and the don't guys. show up. Yeah. That's what you so say. So what I'm saying yeah. is because he don't have to be a nigga. Like, he nah. can be any... Well, to the ones that don't show up, they deserve to get their pockets hit. Mm, yes, That's cool, but we know yes. it's a lot of men out here that And it's that a lot of people up. who show up for other people's kids, but don't show up for their kids. It's and a get lot your of people, pockets hit. That, but that's what I'm yes. saying. Like, it's a lot of things get out them here. Get pockets. And that's I don't tight. have any kids, but I have friends. I have witnessed firsthand. Like, it's certain things that you just look at. But and can I say like, something? Even, hey, even, I know her attitude might be foul or something. That has nothing to do with the child, though. Yeah, but can I say something? This is anything where, It does, to- though. It does. Yeah. The the woman's attitude will fuck up everything for the child. It has nothing and, to do and with even the child. Even though it's not right, it you happens. You can come get the child. You can it's make a bridge. It's not right, but it you happens. Can, you can make a bridge. No. You can make a connection. What, you can make anything I, to what get age is this child. child? What age is this child? It doesn't talking about? fucking matter what your name is, Jabroni. What you see, you, I said, what, what age your, is the child? It doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. See, it, it doesn't do. matter. It doesn't matter if the child I'm going to call infant. up the five year old be like, hey, ask your mother, can I come pick you up? No, you can ask I can't speak for people. A sibling. You can't speak you can't. for people you, you know. Gotta you can only speak, speak for yeah, yourself. Until you get a certain you age. And that's I why I don't want to talk about this because I don't have any kids. Yeah. So I but can't can speak still, to other people. Speak. But I know people who you can make some type of connection. You know somebody who you can speak for to just be like, hey, bro, even if we have to have a play date with, it's a room full but of people for me to, to see my child. you have to understand that some women well, don't, give, that don't want Yeah, everybody is not that cooperative. And there's some men that are total assholes. Yes. So it's not just But it is for both sides. It is not. Definitely so, not. And I'm going to sound like BB when I say this. This is why the Bible said do not have sex until you get married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He can say it now because he married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, it, if, if you think about it though, and I and, and, and me and my, my, my homie uh, G, we talk about this all the time on the truck. If you think about all the headaches and the pains and the shit that people have in marriages and da-da-da and all this and all this, the you don't satisfy me and I'm not getting fulfilled and da-da. You wouldn't know what satisf- what satisf- uh, satisfaction. Satisf- I didn't think that was a word. That's why you say that. All right, satisfaction. That's not no word. Yeah, that shit don't even sound right. You serious? Look that up though. That's a word. You cannot be this old and not be having <laughs> shit. Dog. I'm, just sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. you gotta leave him alone. <laughs> Hey, you see, I just looked at that shit. That shit didn't sound right, though. You know what I mean? like, yo. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, can we get our producer to look that word up? Oh, All right. No, we don't. No. <laughs> no. No. All right, back to what I was saying. So, if you never had a certain choose, choose level. Choose the word right now you want to use. Which one you going to use? If, What's the word? Satisfaction. 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 Yeah, there you go. You the one gave me that dumb ass word. I knew that was a word. <laughs> I was waiting for you to work it out, bro. <laughs> like, if you were saying it's a word, come on, man. We know right, that. Come on, bro. I'm playing words. All right, look. Nicole, I'm glad you take after your mama, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. And don't so, go to public school. <laughs> so, look, if you never had, if you never had, like, a certain level of satisfaction. Sat- you brought to make me say it again. Yeah. Satisfaction. <laughs> If you never had a certain level of satisfaction and all this, or you ain't never fucked five people that, that ate your ass and da 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 I'm just saying you that they- five, though? No, I ain't, no, I ain't. Oh, five no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you ain't never had all that wild shit done, you all the, or your mate, when y'all meet each other, y'all just learning what your gratification is. Right. The problem is, one person had level 20 and the other person had level five. And then before you know it, it's like, oh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not that. That's why, I, once again, the Bible say, don't do shit until you get married. Mm-hmm. You can figure this out together. You ain't figuring that out together if one is expert level and one right. is intermediate. It ain't going to happen. And we, and on top of that, that's how you fuck. we get to this child support and all this other shit and all that other shit and da-da-da-da-da. It all has one root. 
You know what I'm saying? It, it all comes back. You know, I know I'm sounding like you right now, but hey, no. it all comes back to one root. I make sense, don't No, I? yeah, no sex before marriage, and you'd be fine. Picture that though. I mean, true. I'm just saying. Picture yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Picture know? that. But I mean, hey, shit happens. But I'm just saying. That's where it all root. That's where it all stems down to. And shit will be a lot easier. You're going to jerk off so much when the time you got sex, this shit ain't going to feel right. <laughs> uh-uh. Get it in. <laughs> I know what it say, but, you know, oh, still got to test drive the car. Still got to test drive the car. Still got to make sure that seat right. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it fit just yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, it's right there. All right. Can I lean in it, rock <laughs> with it, you know? <laughs> hey, when they do it the little day, they do it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't you. Oh, oh man. That's shit. so annoying. But, but it's true though. I mean, yes, we all know what the Bible says on that part. But like, come on, that's why He always gives us an out because we know He know we hey, ignorant. What they say? He know we ignorant. Believe it or not, it's the handbook to life, yeah. Like it or not, Ty Tribbett, the entertainer, the gospel entertainer, basically. Um, he was on the Breakfast Club and he said a few things about wrong platform for me, but I get it. A good right agree. Um, he said a few things about church. Um, how church is, I guess, corrupted. Uh, you don't need to go to church to find God. I don't believe that part. Find God and da 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 da. I saw parts of it, right, but I... it sounded like he was more of telling people to. I don't want to say stay away from church, but it's not needed. Um, I just like to get y'all takes on it. Well, I don't. I don't think you need to go to church to find God, but it helps you put church to me. Helps me. It gets me in that realm with God. Gotcha. Because it puts me in a different atmosphere. So the thinking, other last a couple Sundays ago, I went to a mega church. I grew up in a small church where it literally like had like our church had to no it was smaller than that. A little bit, yeah. Hey, y'all was in the bedroom. Uh, oh well, she's but South no, Carolina. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's it no solid rock full gospel Baptist church. When it was down in D.C., it was a small church. Yeah, it had the second level, but it was still a very small church. Moving to Capitol Heights, it's still a big church, but it's not a grand church. What? Me going to a church this weekend, it was just so massive. That even though I was so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord, like the house of the Lord, like I am still overwhelmed. I can't stop crying because I just get, I'm getting overwhelmed with just everybody and my own self. But then at the same token, I just think about the people that I'm not connected to that's here where you lose. You get lost. I'm getting get lost, lost yeah. in just that message, which great message, like outstanding message. But I just think like, Church used to be to me intimate. It's intimate. It's your family. It's the everybody's family who's actually family. Yeah. If it's from you being married, if it's and that's it. And so that's, you think it's too theatrical? I don't know if it's theatrical because I still had a great sermon. Like I still it's too big for your life. It's still yeah, it was a little too overwhelming for me. Like right. I had to sit in the overflow, and it still had a massive church, a second level. Like, still wings on the side where people could have came. So, it was still a great, amazing service. Like, I still receive, you know, like like I said, I receive the Lord. I love being in the presence of the Lord. I can watch it online, but the feeling I get when I'm in the sanctuary is different. Overflow. Yes, I still felt it, but it's yeah, just not as yeah, personal yeah, because yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if yeah. I'm watching it on the screen, well then I might as well watch it at home. Mm-hmm. Watch it on TV my, myself. So, me, I'm I'm thankful and I'm grateful that I'm getting back into the church and I, I had enough strength and, you know, I wanted that to go in there. But that is a little bit too much for yeah, me. She went solo dolo too. I yeah, know, like, yeah. I didn't ask anybody to go with I just got up and said, this is what I need to do. Mm-hmm. Like, and I went the week before. Like, it's just something that I want to get back into. So, so what Ty Tribbett was saying... Like, let's say if you wasn't a believer, would his message kept you away from going to church? Like, oh, I could do the same shit, same stuff at home. No. 
I would I if I was if if you ask me that question, I would say I wouldn't go if I knew who he was. Like I know who he was. And but I know my beliefs. But right. yeah. by me not having any belief in God, if I was that person, yeah, that's what I'm then saying. he would make me not want to go to church. And that's why I say I think yeah. it was a reckless message. He but would, I just still can't if I knew from who he was just yeah. to get the and worship. I know you know what, what I mean? What I used to like hear his music and all message. that. I mean, yes, back in the day he was he cheated on his wife. His wife forgave him. Yeah, I remember. All yeah, that. so but but me knowing him as far as what I still I know as him from a man of God, if I didn't believe in God, I wouldn't want to go to church. And well, that, and I'm I being honest. Be I don't know Ty Trippin. Uh, yeah, Ty Trippin like yeah. that. I didn't know. Well, he got some bangers out there. I mean, I know a couple songs, but I don't know about bangers. the demons that he had to face or nothing yeah. like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. We so all it's face not them. like I'm saying. I'm not. I, mean, I would go or yeah, not go man. because of him. Yeah. I'm gonna go for my own. I don't sake. knock him because he went through that trial yeah. and failed and got back up and he good now. I, so I think right now, and I think we just such in the um the last days that if you just look at it, even in the last couple of months, like the church as just like a platform is just is being attacked so much, and it's I don't even want to say it's being attacked. They making it an easy attack. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got uh, Kirk Franklin gyrating on stage. How you gyrate into a gospel song? You just want to say swallowed up again. No, I mean, then you got T.D. Jake swallowed <laughs> in, a, in a purple robe, swallowed. <laughs> walk aside, walk to the side, swallowed. Okay. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, like, motherfuckers just doing some wild shit where they like, did I just do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's purposely. It didn't even like some of the interviews I heard of. You know how to, you know, not saying just because you're Christian, you're not human, but you got to remember people around you are watching. So if they're That's going to I these gospel I think awards, that he went to the Breakfast Club. So because that is a universal platform, that's just not hitting the gospel community. It's not like people who are just strictly into Christian music aren't listening to Charlemagne the God or. No, nah, I don't ever say that. Or just shut uh just Fuckers. hilarious. But it's man. that's cool. But I'm just saying, like, they actually have a platform where it's reaching millions of people. Yeah, but you never dumbed not, down on your belief. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're I get what you to. say you're not supposed to. But just like with the genres of music. Dr. Umar you know, don't dumb down when he go up there and say, Don't is? date white women. Nah, but yes, he do, because he had a white joint hollering at him and yeah, and no, stop it. Yeah. But anyway. This but is, I'm saying they don't stop. They they don't stop when they got a militant message. They still go go. I'm just saying, yeah, we gotta just stop. Okay, let me hit you with. Let, let, let me ask you this question. Free will it, to do, and, 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 and they gonna have the answer for. Let so me ask me. you this question. About about three days <laughs> ago, <laughs> something came across my timeline. Right. Mm -hmm. It was about gospel music mm -hmm. and music everybody ninety percent of the world listen to. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this guy who's very faithful, goes to church all the time, thumps gospel music all the time. He gets in his friend's car. The friend is playing gospel music. And the friend that believes is like, and he knows his friend is just the biggest atheist. And, and, oh, he, okay. and he was like, surprised. Like, my man, you, you, you really like this and all that? And homeboy was like, excuse me, but he was like, fuck no, I like the beat. <laughs> He's like, I don't Stay even know it. what the fuck they saying. I just like the beat to the song. So this is the crazy thing. He was like, how can you be in the world music? Like, we all listen to buck, buck, yeah, buck, yeah. buck. Be the whole dance. So how can we, like, I like gospel music. And I like music. worldly music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he, when he was like, now I'm at odds because, like, now I feel like I, because it was at a time, time when I was going to church 24-7. Right. That. Hey, I wasn't listening to no bullshit. Yeah. Even on Sundays, the kids could listen. Well, he really wasn't, but my daughter would listen to music, crazy music. I'm like, you can listen. What? Well, long they ain't got no cussing on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But now, I, when I came across my time, I'm, I'm like, damn, damn, I really have to stop listening to worldly music because how can I align myself with where I'm trying to be at if I'm still listening to worldly music opposed to Got Golly music. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I dig it. I dig it. You can't. You can't. I mean, I just think. If I that's think the it, case, it's a lot of worldly yeah, things. Yeah, I mean, that you we do already that know. You need to cut out. Oh yeah. All right. So, so it's just we about, already we already so know. That's why I didn't want to get into that. This next this next this segment. little little segment. Yeah. And, and if you, I'm sure y'all know who we talking about. He would have been right here laughing with us any motherfucking way because it's 
he ain't never serious anyway. Yeah. Every time you see him, he ain't serious. No matter when you see him, he ain't serious. He's going to call you at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, rock. He don't care. You know, that's that's our little brother. You know, we all looked out for him. We all love him. Um, and unfortunately, Saturday morning, we uh, we got the news that he, he passed. Um, and it, it all hurt us deeply. I'm not going to lie. I just seen, seen the Bama. Thursday, like I always say, I, I just saw him Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, something like that. I just saw him Thursday, walk through the door like I always do. First thing he do, you fat motherfucker, you still got that shit on your leg? Fuck you, G. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, sat down, laughed. He was such in good spirits, man, just bopping back and forth. Ida was pouring shots. He was sitting there playing the music. And I said, I was like, man, I said, Mike, dang, that joint rocking right there. Who, what playlist is that? Send me that. Mike said, shit, that ain't my shit, that's G. This nigga turned around, ha, fat boy, you want that, don't you? <laughs> it pulls that. I said, man, uh, fuck you, bro. I said, nah, put that shit on my phone. He said, all right, uh, give me your phone, I got you. Program the shit in my phone. I was like, I right, bet, my nigga, though. You know, just just sitting there, you know, every time I see little bro, man, I, I love that dude, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, all, we, all, all I ever wanted, I think everybody, you know, that loved him, just always wanted him to just do good, do better. Even yeah. though you know he just loved to live life, um, that's just who he was. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I ain't gonna lie, that shit hit hard, Joe. You know, you know, and it hit even harder when I see all the love that he get for him to think that. You know, sometimes I think he thought Felt that he people, wasn't, yeah. yeah, he was in love. And if he was to see all this that's going on right now, how many lives that you know is is funny? He impacted. Yeah, he impacted a lot of lives. Good, or bad. Yeah, is yeah. a lot. But if you notice, if you read all of the Facebook posts, he treated us all the same. Yeah, every all the same. Like everybody, the it's people. Just Greg. Did, yeah, it's just Greg. It's just Greg. It's just Greg. <laughs> it's just Greg. <laughs> And it was funny because you just see everybody post like, he called me at 2 o'clock in the morning. He call. You'd be like, you'd think you the only one he's bothering like that. Nope. <laughs> that he going through his whole phone book. 4 o'clock, like 5 that. o'clock, 6 yeah. o'clock. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was just, you know, you just look at it and you just be like, damn, now that was G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, he about, bruh, bruh. Bruh, man, you better come. You better come to the party. You better da da da. You don't. Oh, he hit you with the. You don't never hang out with me, nigga. I was just with you the other day, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. So you know, just want to say, man, I love you, G. That's you know. Yeah. You Rest fuck me. You, you fuck me up with this one, bro. But I love you, dog. To G man. To G man. Love you, bro. Thank you. He does have a, a go for me if y'all don't know. Yes, he I, does. What's the, the go? Uh, um, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll put a link we'll in. We'll put a y'all. link in. And, you know, yeah. just like once again, just to show how much people love him, man, my man is up to eight G's in the less than two, in about two days he already. Got four, he, he left behind four babies. Four so. babies. Yeah. Four babies. So, you know, everybody, everybody donating, you know, making sure them babies good. Yeah. So, just, just show him some more love because he's definitely looking at us. And then he see you don't show no love. He gonna he gonna come haunt your yeah, ass. Get a phone call. Yeah, he gonna man. get a phone call because that's man. just uh-huh. that's just the type of nigga he is, yeah. I need y'all to like, share, subscribe. Ooh. Yeah. Tune in next week. Tune in next week. Yeah. 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 Yeah.